and then the work of just cutting everything out is a certain headspace. Sometimes it's just a full day of cutting things, which is active, but sort of just sitting here while the pages themselves are moving around a lot more. I think it's healthy to pursue something that doesn't have a logical path in front of it. I think there's some real, uh, some, some real positive things to gain from just like throwing something at the wall and seeing what sticks. You know, I think a lot of people have experienced boredom in the past year and a half, and it's a great place for an arts practice to thrive, you know? I think that's where it stems for a lot of people. I remember being a kid and just being bored and being tired of watching TV, so I would draw, you know? And that's like, uh, it's just how it, how it went for me. Uh, my name is Matt Goldberg, and I, my official title is Director of Ceramic Programs uh, here at Soma Arts. Right now, especially since the past year, I've just been using this space um, for my own art, art practice. The day job is at a at middle school in the mission and I teach art there um, and that's during the day and then in the evenings I'll come here and teach ceramics to adults. Some students get a little more tight around like um, what's right, what's accurate, what's wrong um, and I think my role in that is like even just changing the framing of right to wrong to just like how confident is it? Are you confident in your line or is it like very timid? And I think that's a, uh, a better scale to gauge the work than like, does it look like the apple you're trying to render? Um, I think there's a good balance for me in seeing the art of children and the art of, you know, working exhibiting artists in galleries where I think if you're just in that gallery space, just in that kind of art lecture space, you can get a little jaded and burnt out. But there's something really pure and like without those motivations when it comes to 13 year olds. And there's some real magic that can happen in that space um, that, you know, a lot of adults are trying to tap into. And I think that's a tricky one, like the, the difference between making art for the sake of doing it and the, the love and enjoyment of it versus um, trying to meet some kind of expectation or goal or exhibition. I think it's important to have some kind of secret part of the practice too. Just something that's kind of for yourself. And I think collage sometimes to me just feels like less trapped. Like people, I think people do it, but they don't consider it their main medium. And I don't know if I consider it mine either, but it feels like a space where there's room to stretch and explore and carve out a little more of my own territory. The eventual goal for this project is finish all the pages, get it rebound in, in kind of a nice object. Beyond that, I don't really have anything that I'm hoping it does. Um, I think, you know, if I'm looking at the long arc of a project like this, it's that in a couple decades time, I look back on this project and can transport back to this space, in this like mental space. I think the more finalized project of that um, is a good kind of just time machine for like my future self. It's about 70 pages right now. I'm aiming to get like 100. Yeah, and I don't know how like meta this wants to get, but it feels like even the project that you're putting together is like, you know, taking in, synthesizing information, cutting it, splicing it, and putting it back together. Like, it is reframing, like, the world or the neighborhood or whatever else. And like, we're constantly doing that. We're all constantly doing that. And this is just like a more tangible way of, of that same practice. Um, and sometimes it feels like, um, a nice new discovery of how to engage with a book. I'm kind of entering through the side door on how you can access the information in books. I think a lot of artists are chasing that kind of like 
flow state or you know that mental space that comes with really engaging with the work and I find that this material gets me there the quickest and lets me stay there the longest so that's why I keep doing it when I leave the studio after a long day of working on this I feel really rewarded and I think the acknowledgement of that satisfaction is enough to keep me doing it.